This is the second of two videos for Monday, November the 8th. Our scripture readings today has been Song of Solomon, chapter 8. This one, this video, is for Proverbs, chapter 1. So that is our scripture reading. A little bit of the background, the title of this devotional is A Preamble to the Book of Proverbs. I uh, first began writing daily devotionals back in uh, 2014 as a ministry to my Hillsdale Baptist Church family here in Tampa. And uh, the effort was a day in, day out, daily devotional study throughout the book of Proverbs. And this study, however, now is going to be focused on only the first six verses of Proverbs chapter 1. It is a section of scripture known as a preamble. Now, what is a preamble? A preamble is a concise introductory statement to a book or document. Now, we find Solomon's preamble to his Proverbs in the first six verses of Proverbs 1. And it concludes with his purpose statement, which we'll study in verse 7. Now, Solomon's preamble really is expressed in a five-fold goal for conveying his insight and his understanding to his son, who would be the future king of Israel. And if you would, if you have your Bible, I invite you to follow with me, Proverbs chapter 1, and you'll notice verse 2. He states this purpose, to know wisdom. Well, we ask the question, what is wisdom? Well, wisdom carries a greater sense than mere knowledge. Solomon's desire was that his son would not only be knowledgeable, but also that he would have wisdom. Wisdom, you see, implies the skillful use of knowledge. You see, a man or a woman can be a genius, intellectually brilliant, and yet still be a fool and lack wisdom. Now, not only is, was Solomon's goal to know wisdom, but it was also that his son might would know instruction. Now, the implication of biblical instruction in the Bible is twofold. It is reproof and chastisement. What is reproof? Reproof is correction. It can be simply a, a verbal correction, a rebuke even. But chastisement is a corrective action, a discipline. And so the Hebrew word in verse 2 for instruction is also translated as to chasten. Proverbs 13 and verse 2. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him loves his son, always loving his son, chasteneth him betimes. Now that is God's plan for instruction, to reprove and to chasten. The primary purpose then of a parent in chastening their son is to instruct them not punitive, not punishment. Now, not only then is, was the goal to know wisdom, number two, to know instruction, but thirdly, it was that Solomon's son in verse two might perceive or discern the words of understanding. An appropriate application of this goal of words of understanding might be summed up in this description, common sense. If there is a time in which we've lived in which there is a lack, a drought of common sense, it is today. Now, verse 3 gives us our fourth goal that Solomon had in teaching his son Proverbs. We read in verse 3, to receive, or that is for his son to accept the instruction of wisdom, discipline instruction. And then three other things, justice, discerning right and wrong, judgment, and equity. What is equity? It is integrity. You see, to acquire wisdom, one must have a right heart attitude towards discipline and instruction. A sociologist and pragmatist may question whom or what determines right or wrong. However, our Creator has weighed in on that debate with His law and His commandments. 
Paul wrote in Romans chapter 3 and verse 20, For by the law, that is the law of God, is the knowledge of sin. And that brings us to the fifth goal for Solomon teaching his son Proverbs. We read in verse 4 then, To give subtlety. What is subtlety? It's discernment. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. You see, a man might be a fool or a simple man, but if he's willing to accept instruction, if he's willing to become a man of knowledge, he will have discretion. Now, in closing, let's remember the primary object of Solomon's Proverbs was to prepare his son to be a king. Now, an oriental king in ancient times was the supreme judge in all judicial matters. There was not a court court of appeal after a king passed judgment. It was critical then for a prince and the father Solomon to teach his son who would one day be king to have discernment about good and evil. That is to know what to say and what not to say, to know when to be silent and when to speak. Well, time and space does not afford a daily devotional that does a thorough study of Proverbs chapter 1, but I do want to leave you with a parting thought and listen. A man or a woman will never stop listening or learning. A wise man or woman will never stop listening or learning. However, fools despise wisdom and instruction. And I ask a question, are you foolish or wise? A wise man never stops accepting instruction. God bless you. Have a great day. I hope these devotionals are an encouragement. Of course, you can always read the original devotional found at www.heartofashepherd.com. I invite you, subscribe there and subscribe to this video feed and have it sent to your email every day. God bless you and Bye-bye.